In a previous video, we looked at how to do binary division, integer division, both signed and unsigned. And in this video, I want to just go through a bunch of examples of doing that. Uh, rather than going over all rules again, we'll just hit a couple examples. So what I've done here is I've gone to a website called random.org, which lets me generate random bytes, decimal numbers, uh, bits, that kind of thing. Uh, and uh, I generated a bunch of random decimal numbers there. Uh, and I did this just so that we have some numbers to work with to do division. Uh, and uh, so that the examples aren't contrived. I want you to see that these techniques will just plain work with regular numbers. So I've got this series of numbers and from it uh, I chose some stuff like uh, let's do 231 divided by 52. Uh, and instead of 110 divided by 67, which is one with some remainder is not very interesting. So you know, 1,106 uh, divided by uh, say seven, right? Uh, stuff like this. So all of the examples that we are going to do, uh, which are these right here, come from that uh, random.org page. So you can see the 231 divided by 52, uh, the 1,106 divided by seven, all of those are from that page. And what I've done on these sheets of paper is I just ahead of time calculated out what the quotient will be in decimal, what the quotient will be, uh, or what the remainder will be in decimal, and then what the binary equivalent is for the dividend, the divisor, the quotient, and the remainder. So we don't have to watch that uh, being calculated in this video. Now let's go ahead and see if we can't uh, solve these four division problems uh, quickly. To start, we will look at this one, 231 divided by 52. So here's the binary for 231, and here's the binary for 52. Now what's going to happen is uh, we are going to need for each of these to know what the negative version of this is. And we're going to confine that negative string to the same number of bits as the divisor in the first place. So to do our negation here, we need to flip all the bits, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, add 1, and we'll get 0, 0, 1. Uh, let's see, what will this get? A 0, carry the 1, and a 0, carry the 1. So we get 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. And every time we would traditionally uh, take the partial, uh, partial quotient, multiply it by the divisor, uh, and then uh, subtract that here, we are now just going to add this. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six bits. One, two, three, four, five, six bits. This bit position is the first place, therefore, that we could have a meaningful value. So let's start scanning to see if these strings, which string is bigger? One, 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 good, zero, one. Okay, so the bits are different. This one has a one in it, which means this partial dividend is larger. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six bits. So we're gonna have a one here. Now we're gonna add this six bit value to this six bit value. Zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero. And we're doing the addition because that's way easier than subtraction, I think. And that's how the computer does it. Now this one plus one should be a zero carry the one, but we only care about uh, the result of this for as many bits as the divisor is large. So we're only looking at these six bits. Then we need to look for the next partial uh, dividend starting with the highest order one here. So we've got one, zero, one. We'll bring down another one. That's only four bits though versus a six bit divisor. So we're going to get a zero here. And we'll bring down this one. Now we've got a five bit divi uh, dividend versus a six bit divisor, so we get a zero again. We're out of bits, so this is our quotient, this is our remainder, and the quotient is one zero zero in binary, which is the same thing as four. And the remainder is one zero one 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 from here, which is the same thing as uh, seven plus 16, which is 23. The same numbers we expect from the pre-calculated values. So let's do the next example. Uh, here we are dividing by seven, so we need to do 
that little negation bit again. So I'm going to flip all the bits, which will be all zeros, add one to it, and I'll get zero, zero, one. So this is the value we will add when we are dealing with our partial partials. Okay, so three bits, one, two, three. Uh, one and one are the same. One and zero are different. So this number having the zero in that position means this is too small. So we would end up with a zero here. Uh, we'll have to bring in one more bit to make this one, zero, zero, zero. Since that's four bits versus three, this definitely goes in at least once. So now we'll add zero, zero, one here. But please note, I only care about what's going to come out of these three bit positions. Everything to the left of that, including this one and any carries, I do not care about. So here's a one, zero, zero. All right, so we have the highest order one is here. That's a one bit number. Bring down this one, it's a two bit number. Two bits versus three is too small. One, one, zero. Now I have a three bit number, but this zero here where there's a one here makes this number smaller. So another zero, bring down the one. Now I've got a four bit number versus a three bit number. So we're gonna end up with a one here. And then we'll add zero, zero, one. And again, we don't care about anything past these bottom three bits. So this is a zero, carry the one, one, and one. All right, bring down the zero. Now we've got a four bit number versus three. So we're gonna have a one for sure. Add zero, zero, one. One, zero, one. And it doesn't matter that there's a one here, we just forget about it. Three bits is what we're working with because the divisor is three bits. Bring down a zero. Four bits versus three bits. This is bigger, so we get a one. Add to that zero, zero, one. We get a one, one, zero. Good. This is two bits. Bring down a one. We'll get a one here. Excellent. So now we're doing three bits versus three bits. One, one, one. So they're the same value, which means it goes in once. And we'll add, even though we know the remainder of that will be zero, we're gonna add zero, zero, one anyway. This is a nice special case. We'll see some fun result. Zero, carry the one. Zero, carry the one. Zero, carry the one, but we don't care about it. Bring down the next digit mechanically. We've got no high order one, so it can't be divided. And we get a zero here, which means our quotient is one, zero, zero, one, two, three, four ones, and a zero. And our remainder is zeros. And that remainder is the same thing as zero decimal. Uh, and this is the same binary pattern we see right here, our expected binary pattern of 158. Excellent, everything is working wonderfully. The next two, 1582 divided by 53. So here's the bits ready for us. Let's uh, get this guy negated. We're going to flip all of the bits. That's going to be 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, and add 1 to that. And we'll get 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. And we're looking at a 6-bit divisor. So we're going to look at the first 6-bit string from the highest order 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that ends here with this 1. And we'll see which one is bigger. 1's match, 1's match, 0's match. Here's the bits that are different. Uh, this guy has a 1 and this guy has a 0. So this side is smaller. So that means we would get a 0 here. And 0 is, of course, ahead of this. We'll bring in one extra bit. We're definitely going to get a 1 now because this is 7 bits versus 6 bits. So we're going to add then our 6-bit thing to the bottom here. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. So give us a 1, 0, carry the 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. Bring down the next one, and we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 bits versus 6. This is bigger for sure. Add our 
value from here, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. That'll give us a 0 carry the 1. Now 1, 1, 1 is 3, so that's 1 carry the 1, 1. 0 carry the 1, 0 carry the 1, and 1. Bring down the next bit, always. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 bits again. That's bigger than 6 bits, so we get a 1. Let's add 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. That's 0 carry the 1, 0 carry the 1, 0 carry the 1. Now we've got 3, so that's 1 carry the 1, 1, 0, and I don't care about these other bits. Only as many bits as the divisor on the low end. Now we'll bring in a 1, and we've got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 bit number. So we have to compare. Ones are the same. Ones are the same, zero is the same. Here's a bit that's different. This one is lower, so that means we get a zero here. And we'll bring in one more bit there. And because this is now seven bits and this is six, we're guaranteed to have a one. But to find our remainder, we're gonna add our fancy bit pattern down here. We're gonna get one, 0, carry the 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, and we don't go any further. Here's our 6-bit remainder, so we've got a quotient of 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 in binary, which uh, is the same thing here, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, as 29, just as we would expect. And our remainder is 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 in binary, which we can see is the same bit pattern for 45. Excellent! The last one! Uh, 8,816 divided by 61. Let's negate this bit pattern. That's going to give us 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, plus 1 is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. One. So that's a six bit pattern. So we're going to start with six bits up here. One from the highest order one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the zero right after that one. Check if they're the same. Bits are the same. Bits are different. And because this one's lower, this number is too low. So we get a zero here. Which means we'll have to add a seventh bit. And that means seven bits divided by six bits. It definitely goes in. Now we'll add to that our fancy number of Zero 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 one one, and we'll get one one one, and then a bunch of zeros. And we only care about those three. But really, from this point, this one is the one that matters because it's the highest order one so far in the remainder, uh, in a far partial dividend. So now that means to get another six-digit number to compare to, I'm going to have to bring down three more digits. So one one one, because they're all ones here. There's the last one. And now I'll compare. One, 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 ones. Oop, mismatch. Zero here, one here. That means this guy is bigger. So at this position, we're going to get a one. In the previous positions, we would have gotten zeros because they weren't big enough. All right, let's add to this six bit value zero, 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 one, one. Now we get a zero, carry the one, a one carry the 1, a 0 carry the 1, 0 carry the 1, 0 carry the 1, and a 0 carry a 1, but we'll forget about it because we only want 6 bits. Now our 1 is way over here, so we have a 2-bit number uh, that we bring down this 0 here for. And that's 3 bits versus 6, no good. We need 6 altogether, so we need the last three zeros here, and that means we know these were all zeros, and it's questionable whether the last is a one or not. So the only way to figure that out is to compare these. Ones are the same. One and zero mismatch. This is lower because it's got a zero. So this did not go in. And that means this is our remainder and this is our quotient. So the quotient is one zero zero one zero 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 binary, which is this bit pattern here and is equal to 144. Our remainder is one zero 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 zero. 
in binary, and this is the 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32's bit. So that means this is equal to 32, 144, with a remainder of 32. So I hope that gave you some good concrete feel for how to perform uh, the binary division algorithm on integers using addition rather than subtraction uh, so that we don't have to deal with all that borrowing nonsense.